एक्स्ट्रा टाइम जॉन्स टेलीग्राफ मेक्स योर लाइफ रोहित विजय शंकर वॉज प्रमोटेड अहेड ऑफ दिनेश कार्तिक both the vijay and manish were struggling a bit for timing they did get the odd boundaries 34 of 12 and dk just came in do you think at that time you felt that okay we are probably tactically blown it no i mean see any changes that we make uh, in in the game in the game it is uh, due to some reasons and we think uh many a times before doing or making such changes it was because we wanted to have one of the experienced guy to bat uh, at the end and uh, i thought mustafizur will bowl probably the 18th and the 20th over um, and we wanted an experienced guy to handle him because we knew that he will come out with his uh, off cutters and slower balls and uh, dinesh probably we thought would have been a better choice at that point uh, because when i got out we had Eight or nine overs left, and uh, we all we asked uh, Vijay to do at that point was just to you know go after the bowlers and make sure that we get uh, to a decent uh, we cover that run rate uh, required run rate. So I mean you know days like that can happen to anyone. Uh, he tried uh, his best probably the first time he got to bat in the series also. Uh, I mean you can say that if had we lost the game you know I would have looked bad, but. Uh, that was the idea to have dinesh at the back end uh, because he's he's batted at that position and is finished off games uh, for his state team even when he was uh, playing for mumbai indians with me you know i've seen him and i know his ability with the bat uh, and he's got some uh, different type of skill shots that would uh, probably be required at that point uh, at the death overs so that was the only reason we held him back and uh, i can proudly say it paid off Uh, Rohit, uh, did you thought that when 34 needed from last 12 balls, did you ever thought that India might not reach there, or what was it running in your mind? Because it was very close game. Hey, see, when uh, in a situation like this, you cannot uh, predict. Uh, uh, you can only only be positive and think that we can always get it. Because what we think in the dressing room doesn't really matter that much. Uh, guy, guys who are out there in the middle matters the most uh, because they are the ones, uh, you know. Uh, Uh, taking the pressure and taking that challenge to finish off the games uh, in the dressing room, we were always positive, and we thought the the reason, I, like I said just now to him, the reason we uh, we had him in the in the end because we knew that he he could finish off game for us, you know, and uh, that was the only idea, and we were all positive, you know, the kind of uh, shots that he has in his ranks, uh, we always thought that he could he could play those shots and you know put pressure back on them because it's never easy. Uh, you know uh, uh, we on the other other side and you know the, we always thought you know the bowling the last two or three overs is never easy for those guys also because the pressure is on both sides it's a final and the pressure is also on the bowler and uh, you know we always knew uh, somya sarkar is not their primary uh, premier bowler uh, he is you know is is a part time bowler to be honest uh, and we always thought he could he could take on uh, dinesh or manish or vijay shankar they could take on him and uh, score those runs which was needed at the end but you know credit to him also he bowled those yorkers really well at the end and created pressure uh, we were lucky enough and you know to get that big over from uh, dinesh uh, when uh, rubel was bowling i think the 19th over it it can happen to anyone you know our few of our guys also went for the for those big overs it, it's never easy bowling at the death Uh, pressure is always on the bowler not the batsman because you know batsmen have uh, you know we've got we we got few batters uh, waiting uh, to come and play so you know pressure is always on the bowlers we had that in in our mind and obviously dinesh and vijay and manish they knew that you know pressure is on them so one mistake here and there pressure could always play a big part and that's what exactly happened I mean, Bangladesh is a certainly a very good team. Uh, definitely in this format, they are, they are very dangerous team. And you know, we saw a few games uh, when they came out and chased two and more than 200 runs. And they, they they've got certainly uh, they're, they're very fearless. They just come out and express themselves, and they enjoy the cricket. And they are they're certainly a very good team. You know, going forward in the last three years, we've seen that how they have changed. 
their style of cricket and that is certainly helping him. There a lot of the senior guys are there in the team and there are few new faces. It's always a good, good combination to have when you have a mixture of youth and experienced player in your side. You know, you always, you will always get the result you want. And I, I feel they are a very good team uh, and they can, they can do well uh, wherever they play. You know, certainly, uh, you know, a few of the guys who are uh, experienced, they are nurturing the younger guys really well. Huh? Mustafi Zul. I'm excited to have him in the squad. Uh, he's certainly a great pros prospect uh, in international cricket, and we hope that he comes to Mumbai Indians and does well. Clearly, in support of your team, and what was it like? How did he play a role in you know your performance in the end? Yeah, absolutely. I think the crowd was brilliant, magnificent. Uh, you know, the, to get the support uh, from the entire. Uh, uh, I think it was 20, 25,000 people today. So uh, to get the support was really good. We didn't uh, feel that we were playing outside India. Uh, you know, the support was magnificent. And they, you know, I've told, I've said this at the uh, post-match also that you know they enjoy their cricket, which is always a good, good thing. You know, and they they came out in large numbers, and they their support was very crucial. And it's always good, you know, when you get that support. Just to get you going, it's it's very important. And I thought, uh, you know, they came out and supported us uh, throughout the uh, for a course of 40 overs. Uh, even when we were bowling, when we were making those uh, stops uh, uh, while we were fielding, and in the bowling as well. And then again, when we started off batting, you know, they were there supporting us, which was which was really good. Yeah, I think, see, uh, he's, he's uh, uh, with him, it's, it's always very clear what he wants to execute in the middle. Uh, there's no confusion. Um, with the fast bowlers, sometimes, you know, they, they, can, uh, they can go for runs uh, because they're trying hard, they're trying so many things because in this format, you can't just come and keep bowling. Uh, you need to have different sort of skill set in your armory. It's it's very very important. Those slower balls, yorkers, bouncers, slower bouncers, and all that. And I definitely think he has that with him. And uh, yes, he he had few off days, but again today he came back, got those two wickets when we needed. Uh, with the new ball as well, he kept it very tight. I think you know is is someone that uh, we can rely on uh, you know going forward uh, his he understands his bowling really well that is the most important thing if you understand your bowling half the problem is solved i think you know, and that's what you get with him uh, he's very clear in his mind and of course uh, he, he would want to have a great ipl and you know thereafter uh, whatever series we play uh, outside india Dinesh. Yeah, see, I think uh, it was important that he had to believe that he can finish off games for, uh, game for us. And with the kind, like I said, uh, again goes, I have to go back to that, the kind of shots that he has in his books. I think, you know, it suits him to finish off games batting in the death because you have to use that one fielder which will be inside the circle whether it's your short fine leg or mid off or short third man he can all he can always play those ram shot which he played at the end to rubble uh, so we we knew that and he also knows that you know i when i got out i went in uh, i sat in the dugout and i told him uh, he i i thought he was quite upset that he didn't bat at six he was upset but i told him i want you to bat and finish off game for us because your uh, whatever skill you have you know it will be required uh, in the last three four overs because you have that experience and you have played so many games uh, you know uh, so you can you can do that for us so that is the only reason he was not batting uh, at six uh, in the 13th over when I got out and he was quite upset with that but again you know he'll be quite happy now uh, how he finished off the uh, finished off the game uh, you know, he, he was with us in South Africa, didn't get much game time and to do that, uh, what he did today uh, will give him certainly a lot of confidence going forward. And you know, most important thing that he has that 
he's got belief in himself uh, that you know whatever situation comes you know he he is ready to deliver uh, whether he bats up the order or down the order you know that is the kind of guys we need in our team Uh, yeah, I, I think throughout the series, his bowling has been magical for us. Uh, what he has done with the ball, with the new ball, is uh, you know uh, quite incredible. I would say uh, because uh, not not anyone can just come and take that pressure of the new ball and bowl in the power play. Uh, and he, uh, not to forget, he also got wickets at the same time. He uh, didn't allow them, didn't allow any of the opposition we played to score runs freely uh, in the power play because uh, you know what the skill set that he has. And he is quite uh, courageous to do what, what he, wh whatever he was trying to do in the middle, and that takes, you know, that has to, uh, that effort has to be given a lot of credit, you know. Uh, and he, it's just, it's not just one or two games. He consistently bowled in the power play, and you know, uh, always kept us in the game. Uh, and he got wickets as well, so which was crucial. And this will give him a lot of confidence going forward. Uh, we, we identified him as. One of the promising talent who can, you know, play for uh, uh, for the national team for many years, uh, and uh, he has certainly did that. And of course, this this tournament will give him a lot of confidence going forward. Before the final ball, उस समय as a captain आप क्या सोच रहे थे? मैं जो कुछ चल रहा था दिनेश कार्तिक और विजय शंकर के ज़हन में चल रहा था मैं तो अंदर बैठा हुआ था but जैसे मैंने इनको बताया कि अंदर हम काफी positive थे हमें पता था कि एक experience player है और एक जो बंदा है उसके पास टैलेंट है बड़े शॉट्स मारने का बट उनसे आज लगा नहीं क्योंकि काफी टाइम के बाद बैटिंग कर रहे टूर्नामेंट में पहली बार पहली दफा बैटिंग करने आए और इस प्रेशर में बैटिंग करना इजी नहीं होता है बट उन्होंने काफी चीज सीखा होगा कि किस तरीके से गेम को आगे लेके जाना है हम लोग अंदर बैठ के यही बात कर रहे थे कि दो ओवर थर्टी फोर है एक दोनों में से ये जो भी ओवर है एक बड़ा ओवर हमको चाहिए क्योंकि जब हम बोलिंग कर रहे थे हमारे तरफ से भी लास्ट ओवर जो शार्दुल ने डाला वो बड़ा ओवर था आई थिंक 17 या 18 रन्स का ओवर था वो तो हम भी यही अंदर से होप कर रहे थे कि एक 15 या 20 ओवर का ओवर मिले हमें तो लास्ट ओवर में शायद 10 या 15 रन चाहिए होंगे वो हमेशा से टफ होता है बोलर के लिए क्योंकि हमें पता था इनएक्सपीरियंस बोलर है वो बोलिंग करने वाले बीसवा ओवर तो किसी भी जो बड़े से बड़े बोलर होते हैं उन, उनके ऊपर प्रेशर होता है लास्ट ओवर डालने के लिए तो हमें पता था कि अगर हम 10 से 12 रन या 15 रन रखते हैं लास्ट ओवर में तो वो चेज हो जाएंगे और दिनेश जिस तरीके से बैटिंग कर रहे थे हमें सर्टेनली लगा कि वो आ, गेम को फिनिश करेंगे लास्ट बॉल लास्ट बॉल मैं तो सुपर ओवर के लिए पैड पड़ने भी चला गया था मुझे लगा कि सुपर ओवर होने के चांसेस है क्योंकि चार अगर बाउंड्री पड़ती है तो सुपर ओवर होने के चांसेस थे तो लास्ट बॉल मैंने देखा नहीं मैं पैड बांधने चला गया था बट जिस तरीके से हमने सेलिब्रेट किया ड्रेसिंग रूम में मुझे पता चल गया कि हम जीत गए दिनेश ने छक्का मार दिया है लास्ट बॉल नहीं देखी मतलब नहीं हिट द सब्सक्राइब ऑप्शन एंड द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट ऑल द एक्सक्लूसिव स्पोर्ट्स वीडियोस ऑन एक्स्ट्रा टाइम